everybody welcome back to my channel so today i am making an artwork for the youtube artist collective now if you're not sure what the youtube artist collective is they are a group of very amazing talented artists and yeah they actually collab every few months on a theme voted for you guys now the youtube artist collective uh, has actually allowed me to join their ranks as an official member and i'm very 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 excited about this so the theme that you guys actually voted for this time was mythological characters and I'm really glad that you guys voted for this one because I really like this theme and I was very excited to make an artwork for it. Now um, I actually decided to go with Hercules for this and I really loved uh, the idea of painting Hercules against the Hydra. Now the reason I chose Hercules is because uh, it's one of my favourite Disney movies as a child and I just I really love the story uh, behind it. He's actually one of my favourite Greek gods and yeah I really jumped at the idea to uh, do Hercules for this. Now as you can tell I am making this an acrylic painting and this is because I've really been interested in trying out acrylic painting as you've probably seen in my previous videos if you've watched them um, but this time I really wanted to try and do it on a board uh, at a larger scale and this is because I've never actually had the chance to do this before and I really want to try and push myself and make like a big painting that looks really cool and yeah I'm, I'm really excited to actually get into it. Now to start this off, I actually made a bit of a sort of rough sketch on my iPad. Uh, this was just so that I could sort of sketch it out digitally and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed sketching digitally so that's why I ended up doing it at the start that way. And then what I actually did was I inserted a grid onto my original sketch and then I drew a grid onto my canvas board and yeah that's how I basically transferred the sketch onto here. Now the sketch is very uh, very rough and vague on the canvas and this is mainly because I'm actually going over and I'm basically going to paint over the whole thing with paint obviously. <laughs> Now I started off with just a very rough sort of layer of a few different sort of uh, shades of green. Now I didn't need to do this too uh, sort of even because I was going to end up painting over most of that anyways but I needed a sort of base colour to sort of paint on the top of if that makes sense. So I used a few different colours for this and um, I started off with a bit of a more of a purpley red colour down the bottom mainly because I planned to sort of have a bit of a gradient, not exactly a gradient but I wanted a shift in colour down the bottom because um, I really wanted to sort of separate Hercules from the Hydra and that's why I did it that way. Now you can see that I've actually painted a, a very thick uh, bright layer of green over where the Hydra is going to be and this is mainly because um, I had purchased a bottle of crackle medium and what that is as you can see now after I've finished uh, doing it because I didn't get that on video but um, what that does is it sort of acts as a bit of a sandwich layer between two different layers of paint and the top layer sort of cracks away and uh, makes this really really cool texture that I really wanted to try and implement into this painting. Now this video is about Hercules and the Hydra so I just wanted to take a little bit of time to sort of talk about that and say why I really enjoy that story. Um, basically Hercules has these labours that he needs to do um, for him to become a proper god and yeah um, one of those was to defeat the Hydra. Now the Hydra is an interesting creature because um, it's sort of immortal in a way. Um, if you chop off one of its heads, two heads grow back. And uh, yeah, it was actually very difficult for him to actually kill this monster. And what he did was um, he got the help from his, I think it was his nephew or something. And 
how they did that was he would chop off the head and his nephew would uh, sort of cauterize that uh, neck area and burn it and that was just to prevent the the heads from growing back and for some reason in the original story uh, when he chopped off the immortal head which was the the main head of the creature um, that one actually stayed alive so he put that under a rock I'm pretty sure that's how it went um, <laughs> it's a bit of an interesting story and uh, I think it went a bit differently in the Disney adaptation but yeah it's really interesting to see how um, sort of different uh, people interpret that story and I really enjoyed that kind of story so it was, it was a lot of fun to read up about now I had a lot of fun painting this but of course it wasn't without a few struggles. Um, this painting actually went through a lot of different stages and the background especially went through a lot of different stages as well. I actually painted over that background probably about three or four times and that was mainly because I just couldn't get it the way I wanted it to be. However the great thing about acrylic paints is that you can just paint over anything and it is opaque and um, yeah, it's, it's sort of forgiving in that way. It's not like markers or watercolor where it's a transparent medium. You can sort of just cover anything up that you want. So that's why I really, really do like acrylic paints for that reason. Now, um, I really wanted the background to have a sort of foggy, misty feel. And as you can see, there are a few heads uh, in the background that are less detailed. And those are going to mainly be covered up mostly uh, in that sort of foggy texture that I add later. And yet, yeah, I wanted those to be barely visible, so that's why I didn't really need to refine those that much. Now, I chose green for the sort of foggy, sort of skyy area, mainly because uh, the Hydra is a very sort of... A poisonous creature its blood is poisonous so poisonous that even the smell can kill you and um, yeah I really want to sort of emphasize that because uh, watching the cartoon as a kid I really sort of disliked the Hydra a little bit I sort of found the creature looking disgusting and um, I'm not sure why it's just kind of ugly and uh, I really wanted to kind of capture that and uh, make it look cool but not cute because a lot of the art I create is cute but I definitely did not want this one to have a cute feel I wanted it to look sort of kind of gruesome and gross and a little bit revolting but um, that's the sort of feel that I wanted this artwork to portray and I'm pretty happy with how that turned out and I feel like it does sort of convey that message but it still looks kind of cool if that makes sense Now for the line art, if you can call it that in this artwork, I really wanted to sort of differentiate uh, Hercules and the Hydra. So as you can tell with the line art and all the details, I drew them in a lighter colour than the rest of it to sort of make it look like it was glossy and a little bit glowy because the lightning in the background will sort of reflect uh, it that way. And um, with Hercules, I actually gave him darker line art than the rest. And that was just to sort of uh, make them stand out from each other. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. I especially like the sort of glossy details on the Hydra's tongues. I feel like it makes it look sort of wet and slimy. And I really enjoy um, the sort of shading on the teeth as well. It sort of makes them look a bit gross and uh, dirty. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I had a lot of fun painting in the, the final details for the background. I actually thinned out the paint a fair bit with my um, retardant medium and that is just to sort of thin it out a little bit and make it sort of able to blend a lot easier because it stays wet for longer and I sort of just dabbed that really lightly over the background with a sort of a textured brush and yeah I just used a few uh, little very thin layers of like greys and greens and a little bit of white and that added a sort of uh, misty or foggy texture to the background that I really really enjoyed. Now the last few details I had to paint in were mainly the sword and his uh, Hercules's headband 
and um, at this point I was running out with a fair bit of paint because I didn't expect to use as much paint as I did because I went over these areas a lot um, but I ended up cutting open one of the tubes so that I could use the rest of the paint inside and yeah I'm actually happy with those results because uh, I was slowly running out of paint and um, I'm glad that I was happy with the results because I probably wouldn't have been able to fix it uh, due to lack of paint. So yeah, here are the final results to this artwork and I'm really happy I did this and I think it turned out pretty cool and very different from my usual artworks. So yeah, um, definitely go check out the other artists in the YouTube Artist Collective. I will leave a link in the description to all of the other artists' YouTube channels and also a link to uh, a playlist with all of the YouTube Artist Collective videos. Uh, I definitely recommend checking that out because it is very, very worth it. These are amazing artists and I can't recommend them enough. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know below what you think. And um, yeah, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.